Hello folks. Today is uh, Sunday, February 18th, 2018. Beautiful day out there in Frankfurt. And yesterday, Saturday, uh, I got out of the hospital after being in there for three days. I had an operation. In fact, I had what uh, the Germans call an Angebot. I had a two-for-one deal. They went in there and they removed a bladder stone, stone from my bladder. I don't know if you can see it in there. And it uh, looks like a piece of limestone. There was another little piece attached to that that apparently they threw away. They also went in there and they, according to what the doctor told me, cut a little circle, in, or little I think, <laughs> uh, inside my prostate and that's going to allow it to shrink. Apparently the expanded prostate was causing the problem with the bladder. And yeah, for those of you who uh, wonder about these things and are afraid to ask the questions, don't look it up on the internet. Yeah, I can get it up. In fact, a lot of people who have um, prostate operations because they have cancer so they have their entire prostate removed, as long as the doctor doesn't touch their nerves or their muscles, key nerves and key muscles, uh, they can get it back into production. And, but that's, that's the part that I didn't see because thank God for anesthesia. You know, in the Civil War they used to cut legs and it was whiskey and bite the handkerchief. Yeah, I didn't get to see any of that. What I did get to see is the removal of the catheter and that was that long and the nurse is so good about it she does it in one second she goes and removes it from the inside of your penis and I thought it was that short but no it goes all the way to kingdom come uh, and that's not the fun part. The fun part is when you have to go to the bathroom. You know, you get all this urine and blood coming out. You know, how can I describe that? That's like pouring acid on a worm. And I'll let you try to visualize that scene. But the, uh, the, the, that's not the worst part of it. The worst part of it is that I didn't have beer for three days. Now that's torture. They give you yogurt, healthy foods, yeah. Anyways, my son went in there and filmed before and after, and let me show you what he filmed. You know, it is said that Copernicus received his famous book, The Revolution of Us, on his deathbed. Well, I didn't receive my latest book, Why the Neanderthals Disappeared, on my deathbed. I received it only after a bladder prostate operation. And, um... I hope this serves as an introduction to what I'm going to say next, which is starting tomorrow, Monday. I'm going to be uploading one video per day for the next couple weeks. Now I'm going to be dealing with the extinction of the Neanderthals. And specifically, I'm going to be attacking admixture theory. Admixture holds that Neanderthals disappeared when they interbred with us. Their much smaller population dissolved essentially into our big operation, uh, population. 
Um, and yes, uh, I'm going to be presenting arguments against that theory. And, you know, there are people who might be interested in buying the book, and I'm going to ask them to hold off. I want you to watch the videos and see if the arguments make sense to you. I want you to watch the entire series before you take a decision. I don't want you going out there and saying, oh, you know, I kind of like this, and, uh, you know, spur of the moment you decide to buy it. No. I want you to take it easy, drink some beer, watch the videos, and see what you think of the arguments. And then if after watching them you feel that, you know, they make sense and that you're interested in the subject, well, then you'll find instructions on how to buy the book in my website, youstupidrelativist.com. So I'll see you tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy the videos. Bye.